Well, known on this block is high school football, but today we want to switch gears because some big news came out in high school, but this time it was basketball. One of the state top prospects, Avante Shula of Irmo High School, is headed to Oak Hill Academy. A transfer from Irmo High School has been very good over the years. The B.J. Mackeys, the Jordan Ropers, I mean, you just go on big-time players, big-time coach. And now I had to bring in my big-time basketball expert to watch Fox, the captain, Kerry Rich. And I know when I read the news, and by the way, it's really good to see you. I know you was waiting until basketball season. It's, it's kind of weird football season, yeah. and you sitting at the desk, but it's, it's basketball news. Yeah, um, it's always good to be sitting next to you at the <laughs> desk, man. And by the way, you guys are doing a terrific job with your high school football coverage. Uh, you guys have taken it to another level, and I'm mm -hmm. in front of my television every night watching you guys do your thing. Well, I appreciate it, and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll keep doing this stuff as the year goes on. We'll have more about that later on. But, Captain, big news. I mean, you don't expect to talk basketball heavily during this time of the year, but when Devontae Shuler name came up, who's yeah. one of maybe the best player in the state, and we've got seven wheels still out there, but a guy that's got scholarship offers from across the country right here locally, you know, guys, I know you want to see play in state. Mm -hmm. Going to Oak Hill, uh, a guy that don't really need to, it kinda, I'm baffled by this whole situation, so <laughs> help me out. Well, it was a little bit surprising. Mm. Um, uh, first of all, congratulations to Dante, uh, Devontae Shuler for just uh, having the ability. His, mm. his talents allowed him to be uh, to want the attention of the Oak Hills and many of the different programs across the country. Uh, it was because of his ability. It was because of his body of work. Uh, but uh, the flip side to that is if you're Tim Whipple, if you're part of the mm. Irmo basketball team, if you're part of the Columbia basketball community, if you're part of the state of South Carolina, uh, not news that you wanted to hear. Uh, just think about the impact uh, he would have had on so many of the other uh, prospects like P.J. Dozier, right. Tevin Max, Seven Woods, and those guys. Those guys brought the excitement back to the city of Columbia, and now Te uh, Devontae Shuler was going to be the next one. Uh, you're happy that he has the opportunity to play at an Oak Hill on the big stage, uh, but the flip side to that is you certainly hate that he's leaving the city of Columbia, the state of South Carolina, taking his talents elsewhere. Well, here's what upsets me because – you know, when you hear these things, you, you, you automatically think AAU, who's in the kid's life, who's helping him make these decisions. I mean, this guy don't need to go to Oak Hills. I mean, this guy got, got everything he wants, Captain. So I, I, when are we going to get past these, the, the AAU people, even sometimes family members? Because to me, I, I want to see this guy. I want to cover him. Mm -hmm. This, this is, a, to me, a big blow to the state, to the city of Columbia, and to the basketball community. It is a big blow. And uh, you, you always try to respect every family's decision. Mm -hmm. You don't know what went into the family making the decision. Uh, but selfishly, yes, you want a Devontae Shula here mm -hmm. in the city of Columbia. You want Devontae Shula having or giving several other prospects the opportunity to get recruited just by playing with him or against him. Mm -hmm. He was that type of guy. He was a recruiting magnet. But, you know, what a lot of people don't understand is once you reach a certain level, uh, it's no longer a game in this business. Mm -hmm. It becomes just that a business and Devontae Shuler, that's why you look at the many big games that are played on ESPN and so many other top events that we all are privy to being a part of, uh, it becomes a business. And if you don't equip yourself um, as, as, as a family structure or just part of that brain trust mm -hmm. when it comes to keeping those distractions outside of the decision making process, it becomes really, really difficult because this is why you have guys that have been in the business forever mm -hmm. and they're trained to say certain things. Right. They're trained to act a certain way. They're trained to recruit certain high level athletes. And it becomes a business. And if you're not equipped with the proper knowledge, if you're not equipped with the proper know-how, um, it becomes a dangerous, dangerous waters to tread in. And that's why the last couple of years, we've had three guys to get recruited by everybody in the country. And I know people are probably tired of us calling these three, not, right. three well, guys names. But they are relevant. And yeah. they're a big reason why a lot of kids are being recruited right now. But Dozier, Mack, and Woods, their respective families. And I've been on record several times, and I don't think many people really understand why I was on record saying what I said, but each family did a terrific job of keeping the distractions outside of their brain trust, outside of their decision-making process. And that's why their respective recruiting processes were as good as they were. They were seamless. Mm -hmm. And until that happens, and that's why they need to be applauded. And when you allow outside forces, when you're not properly equipped to make these type of decisions because again once you reach a certain level Devontae Shuler is on another level mm -hmm. you got to surround yourself with a smaller group of people my pastor preached about it the other day mm, uh, the I more 
yeah, the more accomplishments uh, you're able to have, uh, the smaller your circle needs to be. I totally agree with that. I mean, man, I'm a hallelujah that amen on, <laughs> on top of I wish we had an hour to talk about this, but here's one thing I'm going to say. Men that have been a father, had a kid, highly recruited, you got to have family structure. I know the mom said this is a family decision. I don't, I'm just going to not believe that. That's just my opinion on that situation. I think we got too many people involved in these kids' lives that don't need to be, and sometimes I think you're going to help them make the bad decision, and I think, in my opinion, I think this could be a bad decision because he's a great player, got a great future, and hopefully that'll stay that way for Devontae. Sure. For the Captain Kerry Rich, that's going to do it for sports.